remember, folks, every time a bell rings, an angel gets their wings. Wanted to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Um, I think Thrift and Stitches will be live on Christmas Day for those of us who aren't going anywhere on Christmas Day and would like some company. We are all invited to join Thrifts and Stitches. Also, I was fortunate enough to, to catch Pinky Hooks. Her name is Shania. Caught her live, I think it was a week ago. And if you don't know Pinky Hooks, I'm telling you, she's an absolute doll. She came up with what I thought was a good idea. And I'll show you what I've got here. You can get these foam boards at Dollar Tree and probably any craft store because you can stick pins in them. I use these to block doilies and smaller pieces. And she took some wallpaper that she'd gotten from Dollar Tree, which is now going to be a dollar and a half tree. And it looked like the white grain wood and she put that on there and she calls it a stitch sampler board. And I do have a couple of books around here that have half a gazillion stitch patterns. They, are, they don't have any names though. That's a little bit frustrating. We like to be able to, to know the name of our swatches or stitches. Some of them we already know, but there's some that we don't. Let's see, what have we got here? Here's a book. Pardon me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, heavy. <laughs> yes, the complete book of stitch designs. 500 classic and original patterns. How awesome is that? Once I can figure out how to get this little camera working and get this cluttered table cleaned up, maybe I can do a few of them and show you a little tutorial. And then what you do is you make your swatches and you pin them up and show them off on your stitch board. And I thought that was a really neat idea. You know, because you get to try out the swatch and then you see if you like it well enough to try to create a project with it. Well, we've got Fantail, Fantail shell, Shells, and it's hard to say. Fantail Shells. Say that five times fast. Until she was put to protect yourself to fake it. <laughs> shells and chains, shells overall patterns. Oh, this book is great. Uh, and I had given one away. I think it was to Dawn Yarndow. I think she won a giveaway. And I contributed a book similar to, similar to that, if not to that one, but one that's similar. So, I did manage to get some cards out this year. I will tell you, I do have major anxiety attacks going to the post office. It's only because of all the trauma I have had in this house. Every time I leave, somebody breaks it. So, they pretty much got everything that's worth anything. So, I don't go very far. My truck is uh, 26 years old. I think it's a 1997 Ford Ranger. So it gets me to the post office, it gets me to the Dollar General to buy some food, and it gets me home. So, we don't go far. So, I will probably be joining Thrifts on Christmas Day, but as usual, I'll be cruising the streets of YouTube, see who's on. I've been lurking a lot lately, just see who's in there. Any friendly faces, that kind of thing. Uh, I've been making stitch markers. I'm getting pretty good at it. So I did for for Christmas. I sent out Christmas cards with a stitch marker in it to some of my some of my YouTube friends. Um, but I found out it does cost more to do that because they consider it a package now, not just an envelope with extra postage, because it won't go through the machine with the lumpy stitch marker in it. So that's good to know. So it's another thing, being a little financially challenged, I can't mail out as much stuff as I would like to. So please forgive me for that. I did drop a lot of memberships, again because of finances. 
I'm keeping a couple. I will keep my Ola Joe, my favorite sailor, Andrea. You gotta come on the yarn ship. She comes on on Tuesdays, usually around 4 o'clock, 4.15 Eastern Standard Time. Come on the yarn ship. We have a great time cruising and looking at yarn hauls and visiting other countries and their yarn stores. We even have a bartender on board. <laughs> it's fun. You just tell her what you want. I like a pina colada. I make a hell of a good pina colada, by the way. But it's eggnog season. And I, I like eggnog, but it's got to have something in it, like, you know, a little rum. <laughs> and it's very rich, so I might as well just spread it right on the hips. I've lost 30 pounds since I got out of trucking, so. And my weight's still going down a little at a time, but it is. I went to the eye doctor yesterday. I don't think they did a very good exam. Now she's telling me I have cataracts. I got my eyes examined three years ago and the doctor said my eyes were good. I had a slight cataract in this eye, which is the left eye, but it wasn't anything to worry about. Now Medicare is not gonna cover cataract surgery unless it's medically necessary. I mean, I can see fine except I need glasses and they didn't do a proper eye exam. I don't think that United Healthcare recommended them. I'm going to call United Healthcare and tell them to unrecommend them. I'd rather go to Walmart. I'll get a better eye exam at Walmart. I just want a pair of glasses. I'm not going to worry about cataracts right now. I can still see just fine. So anyway, I'm getting off track. Is what else is new? <laughs> I did get a lot of nice yarn. The last yarn sale. Again, I'm going to have to get out of camera a little bit. I moved the table so you can see my stocking. I made these, by the way, like years and years, years, years ago. Probably in the 80s and the 90s. And it was a pattern that was in, I think it was Women's Day or Family Circle, because we always got both the magazines. Women's Day and Family Circle. This was back in the 80s and 90s. No such thing as internet. Now you just go to Ravelry and get all the patterns you want. Because the other day I said, oh, I wish I still had that pattern. I was like, go, we got Ravelry. Pattern smatter. Everything you need is on Ravelry. But yeah, they're cute. I never gave any away. I, I don't know. I, I just love them. I probably will end up giving them away. My neighbor blessed me the other day. She said, meet her out at the fence. So I did. And she's sweet. She's in her 80s. And I just love her to pieces. She's a good woman. Uh, she was married to a military man who was high up in rank. So she does all right with getting her social security and his pension. And she blessed me with some money in the envelope. And I just happened to have a pair of fingerless gloves already made up sitting on the table. Hadn't even wrapped them yet. Uh, when she told me she was meeting me at the fence, I kind of had a clue. I said, well, let me grab these gloves. And she just loved them. And they are my pattern. Now, I think it was a week or two ago, Dory did it, showed the gloves I had made. Now, the ones with the little, like, paws on the bottom that look like, you know, kitten, cat paws, that wasn't my pattern. That was Bailey Nookter, Cat on the Prowl. That, those particular gloves were her pattern. But the other ones were my pattern. Now, I've seen it online that other people have my pattern. That pattern I made back in the 80s when I was driving through Woodbridge Township Senior Citizens. And that was in New Jersey. Because they had like a little indoor yard sale at one of the senior buildings. And I bought these slippers. They were like four bucks, which I thought was a little pricey back in the 80s. But I couldn't figure out how she made them, so I took them apart. And then I've, I've, I've experimented over the years. I realized this pattern works great to make fingerless gloves. Do the ribbing the same as I did with the, 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 the socks, the really stretchy socks. And basically half double crochet, round, round, round. Chained a few for the, the thumb hole. And I mean, it's my pattern. But I've seen a couple other people do the same pattern afterwards, so. You know, a lot of us creative people think alike. So, and I never copyrighted it. 
but I can say it's my pattern even though somebody else has made it after me and it's based on the easy peasy slipper sock pattern that I put a, a video up a few years ago it's like one of my first videos it's the worst video ever I was so frustrated I couldn't get the camera in the right place I'm trying to work around the camera like out of breath and grunting and uh, uh, how do people do this you know because Crystal from Bag of Day makes it look so easy and she has been the inspiration for me and so many others starting YouTube channels and let me get the yarn that I got on sale it's got sparkle in it my favorite color sparkle hold on okay we're getting there ow 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 we're getting there. We move slow anymore. Bear with me. Bear with me. Oh. Oh, yeah. Whole box of yarn. Box of yarn. <laughs> I forgot to put some lipstick on. I got some nice lipstick through Timu. Oh, whoever introduced me to Timu. Genie. Genie. Butterfly dreams with Genie. Jeff Walk. <laughs> got me addicted to Timu. Even Sherry says, I'm the team queen. Well, I'm, I mean, where else can you get so much stuff for such great prices and not have to pay shipping? I mean, wow, it's a win-win. But uh, now that they're carrying yarn, but I, I prefer to stick with, like, this is the mandala sequins. Ooh, isn't this pretty? I don't even know what I'm going to make yet. I buy yarn. But I don't know what I'm going to make with it yet. But I'm going to have it in case I when I'm ready. So this is 295 yards. It's made by Lion Brand. It is a three weight. It's nice and soft and squishy. Mandala sequins. So it's got a bit of twinkle. And this one's called Sapphire. Aptly named. And we obviously got a bunch of sapphires. I would like to try making the hexicardi. I would do a little color control on it though. Um, so we got plenty of they were on sale. This is sapphire also. Yes. But this one just has more blue in the middle, right? That's what I'm saying about color control. So what I do the beginning of the hexicardi, I want them to look the same on both sides, so. And what else did we get? We got some. Oh, go for faux. I love go for faux for trims for my fingerless gloves that I gave my neighbor. They were in a gray, light gray sparkle and a nice trim for go for fur. And she just had a manicure and she didn't know how to put them on. I'm like, no, Ann, honey, I said the ribbing goes on your wrist. Put your hand in this way. And she did mention, she was like, oh, like, ooh, it's a beautiful long nails. I, I can't do long nails. I tried. I got into it years ago. I had the whole kit. I was always polishing and filing and painting and fussing. And then I realized I can't play the banjo. I can't play the fiddle. I can't play my guitars. I got these long nails in the way. Trying to take my contacts in and out with warm scrape, scratching my cornea with those nails. Okay, here's some more mandala sparkle. This is called Tanzanite. Ooh, isn't that pretty? So it had to be a good sale because there's some more gopher faux. This is gopher faux sparkle. Uh, it's 56 yards. This is called meteoroid. Meteoroid. What do we got here? Four yards. Ooh, more go for fun. I forgot what I bought. <laughs> I bought it, tucked it away here in the yarn room, keep it away from the kitty cats. Now this one's only 24 yards. What's up with that? Thick and quick, go for faux. Where's the color? Does it have a color? This is called Blue Bengal. Blue Bengal. But I'm just wondering why this has got 56 yards. This is a six weight. This has got 24 yards. The products are shrinking. 24 yards. Oh, I see. This is a seven. 
This is a chunkier one, that's why. Duh. Okay, that makes sense. This is a much chunkier one. But again, it's it's wonderful for trims. I've made a I've made some beautiful shawls and one I made that um for tanks auction. I love to crochet tank. Uh I auctioned off three shawls that I made. And Granny D bit on one and one. And it's beautiful and I did trim it all with the gopher foe. And it's a, like a light gray sparkly. It's you know, really pretty. I use shawl on the ball, which you can't get anymore. So that's another thing. When they have sales like this, it's very possible they're going to discontinue the yarn. How many yarns we have fallen in love with can't get anymore? You gotta go to eBay. Okay, which color do we have here? I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty color, I think. Okay, what else? Oh, I look, there's more. Yeah, it's mostly, it's mostly mandala sparkle. I wanted to make sure I have enough to make a project if I want to do like a big sweater. A hexy cardin, cardigan. And I do understand there's a few patterns for that. But I will probably check uh, Bag of Days pattern first. You know, she's my go-to girl. She's most of our go-to girl for patterns. She's got over a thousand patterns, so free tutorials. You can't beat it. But of course, and there's always Ravelry. Oh, this is pretty. It's more like rainbow colors. Uh, what's this one called? This one's called, and this is a three-weight. And where's the color, please? They hide the color. Why do they hide the color? Here, it tanzanite. It's tanzanite again. Okay. See, they look different than the way they're they're rolled up. You know, this is. I think this is tanzanite. That's pretty. I tell you, I would wear a cardigan with these bright colors. I like bright colors. You know, I'm like getting old, and I want to be you know, an older eccentric old lady. <laughs> so that's what I want to be when I grow up: old and eccentric. Uh, you know, old eccentric people liven up the neighborhood. <laughs> you give the neighborhood some flavor and character. We had an old man in Linden, New Jersey. He was a little on the simple-minded side. His name was Charlie. And he always had a shopping cart. He had headlights like for a bicycle on it. And he had horns of toot toot. And every time there was a parade, there would be Charlie. <laughs> Bless his heart. He was a character. He was an eccentric. But yeah, we think he was a little simple-minded. But that's okay. He wasn't a mean bone in his body. He was a sweetheart. It just gave him so much joy. And other people, too. We got such a kick out of seeing Charlie with his shopping cart. Honking the horns and with the lights. And he probably had bells and all kinds of things on it. And he usually pushed it in front of him. So, instead of pulling it behind him. Okay, let's see here. So, I, I guess for now, that's about it. Uh, I did want to mention Christmas ornaments. But I think I'll save that for another time. I kind of got to be kind of in a funny mood to do a comedy sketch. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a vapor's cough. Not a smoker's cough, but I do have a vapor's cough. So, they're not a whole lot safer than cigarettes other than not having as many chemicals and tar in the paper and all that, but I still got a cough from it. But anyway, it's a little chilly in here, but if I put the heat on, it'll pop the circuit breaker. Um, what else? So yes, go check out Pinky Hooks, please. Her name is Shania. Check out, I think it's a great idea. I'm going to do it, but I do want to get some wallpaper like she got, which was like a light wood. It looked pretty, like it was paneling. And it, and it kept 
It just looked real nice, and then you can hang it up this way or this way and show off your, your swatches, you know? But if I can just get this computer software to work properly, that's a problem, and that's not why I'm not making videos. All my videos come out like a Japanese movie. My lips don't line up with the audio. It drives me crazy. And I know I can get two cameras working. I just don't know how to do it right now, but I know I did have it. And I'm using Cyberlink, by the way, which I paid a lot of money for. Cyberlink. I had Magic's movie edit. Forget it. I don't like, I don't recommend them. So I deleted that off my computer. Oh, and I went to AliExpress and look at this. This is a six terabyte hard drive. Six terabytes. I think it's 1,000 gigs makes one terabyte. Is that, is that it? Um, now 1,000 gigs will hold, now one gig will hold a thousand pictures. So you know this is huge, six terabytes. And I paid seven dollars and fifty-seven cents for it with AliExpress and free shipping. So yeah, AliExpress is now going to try to compete with Timu. And I, I bought the six terabyte and I bought an eight terabyte because it's a good way to free up your computer, save all your pictures. Gosh forbid your computer goes down, you can lose everything. I don't want to save, I got lots of pictures and videos. Stop going back a few years. Videos of my cats that are already crossed the Rainbow Bridge. So. Oh, speaking of Rainbow Bridge, my little Gabby, my rooster, my little flirt, he was such a little flirt, he'd come walking sideways and drop a wing. <laughs> yeah, possum got into the coop. Got my little Gabby. And um, I had one possum coming around, but the possum was not hurting the birds. It just wanted the eggs. Well, they've not been laying eggs lately. I guess one winter time, too, because maybe I wasn't feeding them enough, you know, trying to stretch out the food. Uh, but yeah, this possum got my, my Gabby. And then the Bobsy twins disappeared. I called them the Bobsy twins. They were two matching black silkies. They were so cute. So thankfully I've got video of these. So I've lost, hang on baby, I've lost at least four Three or four hens and my little Gabby the rooster. And now I like possums. I really do. They're timid, gentle animals. They are beneficial to the environment because they eat a lot of ticks. And if you raise them from babies, they make wonderful pets. Uh, their fur is nice and soft. And I found one deceased in my yard a couple of weeks ago. I made a little short. You know, very soft fur. Somebody told me that they only live about two years in the wild, which I wasn't aware of. Now in captivity, they can live to be four or five because they're being spoiled and pampered like a house cat. So, the other night, I'm shining the flashlight out my front door and I see, at the coop, I see two glowing eyes. I said, son of a bitch. Grab my rifle. Hate to tell you what I had to do. But they was going to kill more of my babies. I'm down to two hens. One big black cochin, the little puffball silky, and the big rooster, the big dumb rooster that I don't even like. He doesn't have any personality like Gabby did. But yeah, I had to dispatch the possum. And I, th I think I did three shots with the rifle. I wanted to make sure it didn't suffer. Because I think the first one or two, I could see it wiggling and its tail spinning. I like, and I'm apologizing to it as I'm as I'm putting it, you know, sending it to the rainbow bridge. I was like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, uh, but you killed my birds. I'm sorry. So, boom, last shot, and it was nighttime. So I just left him there. The next day I went back. I got the coop all cleaned out because I still had remains of my other birds in there and it was just heartbreaking. 
farm life. You know, I live in the woods, basically, and there's all kinds of critters. I've, I haven't seen a raccoon, but I, I definitely are possums. And, you know, they're North America's only marsupial, so, you know, I respect that. I, I just feel bad that I had to, to do what I had to do. But, you know, I'm down to, like, two hens now and one rooster. A little gnat flying around. <laughs> Where do they come from, anyway? All right, that's it. That's it for now. Maybe one of these days I'll get my gumption up and go live. The problem is I don't want to step on toes. And it seems like no matter what time of day, somebody's on live. You know, and most of us on YouTube are considerate and don't go on live when we know someone else is going on live. And then some people are random. Crystal's random. She can come on any time, and she go for a couple hours, which I love. I mean, I enjoy watching her. I've missed a couple. I don't always get notifications, but there's always a replay. But it's more fun when it's live, you know. And her chat flies by so fast. I'm like, hi, Andrea. Hi, Ola Joe. And she doesn't see me, and I get, she didn't say hello to me. She probably didn't see me. Chat's like, <laughs> it's going so fast. It's fun, though. It really is. You know, I do love the YouTube crochet community. For the most part, it's got a, a really good bunch of people, good caring people. And I do wish you all a Merry Christmas. And for everyone who's got family to go to and enjoy a good meal, count your blessings, okay? Count your blessings. Maybe my neighbor will remember me this year and bring me a little little Christmas food from her. She goes over to her folks' house, I guess. And she brought me a little Thanksgiving this past Thanksgiving, which I really appreciated. I thought that was so nice. Um, I got a little something for her dog. She's got this hey, baby, little chihuahua. It's like attached to her hip. And this dog is so loyal to her. But I bought this cute thing on Timu that says security canine dog. <laughs> I bought it for Maxi Max. That's my Shih Tzu that my friend Shorty has. And I bought medium, because the Shih Tzus aren't that big, but I really thought this isn't going to fit him. It's another thing about Chinese goods. Always order a size larger. So like I bought uh, snow boots. I wear an eight and a half, eight wide generally, depending on the fit of the sneaker, the make and model. I go with a nine, nine and a half. Because I did buy snow boots, I bought a nine and a half because they're fur lined and I can wear really thick socks underneath them. So just slide my feet right in and we're, we're good. I mean, they were so affordable. I, I really don't want to leave the house. I have anxiety attacks anymore. There's more, more diseases floating around in the air. I don't want anybody's cooties. So I just prefer to get everything delivered if I can. But I wish you all blessed Merry Christmas. And thank you for being a part of my YouTube family. I really appreciate it. I love having having you as my friends. I've made friends and you're a support system to me. You're my social life. You're my you're my extended family, really. And I, I'm very grateful for your here. <laughs> That's my cat Rexy. He pe Rexy, what is the matter? Wow. Starving? Are you starving? No answer. You're not starving. I'm gonna end up feeding him. He eats like a horse. The other cat weighed himself. He's like 22.3 pounds. He stood on the scale and it's a digital. And it's like, no wonder I can't pick you up. It's like trying to pick up a water bed because he's all blob. I can't get to, I can't pick him up. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Where did I leave off? Anyway, love you all very much. Thank you for being part of my YouTube family. I'm going to try to work on this software so I can get more content out because I got two cameras. I did have it working one time where this one was working and that one was working. I could switch them back and forth. I was like, 
check me out. But it's not doing it right now. So and I have to clean off this table. We've got a lot of stitch marker stuff. That's another thing. Timu. I got all my T all my stitch marker supplies for Timu at a at a fraction of a price that you would pay for it at any of the craft stores, even when they have their half price sale. So we are recording, yes we are. <laughs> Mwah! I love you all very much. God bless. God bless each and every one and keep you safe and healthy over the holidays. Please try to, I've, I've, we've had a couple people lost loved ones and this holiday is hard. The first Christmas after losing a loved one like a parent is, is very, very difficult. The first year is the worst. It's your first Christmas without them. It's their, for their first birthday we you, you don't have them. So my heart and my prayers go out to some of the people that I know that have lost parents recently. Do know that I'm thinking about you and I feel your pain. I truly do because I've been there. And to this day I miss my daddy. That was a daddy's girl. And the best, he was better looking than Elvis Presley. <clears throat> okay everybody, Merry Christmas. Wait a second, let's jingle the bells. Jingle bells, jingle bells, here we go. Where are you? There. Hope to see you again soon. God bless. Don't forget, check out Pinky Hooks. Her name is Chandra. Check out her idea with the stitch board. I think it's a wonderful idea. I'm going to do it. I gotta work on this so I can get the camera show my hands I can work up a swatch. I want to be like all the big YouTubers, all the cool YouTubers. <laughs> I guess I'm too old to be cool, but I'm not too old to be eccentric. Okay, love you. See you later. Bye. Merry Christmas. See you next year. <laughs>